Welcome to the Micromotion How-To Video Series. In this video, we will cover how to run and schedule the basic version of Smart Meter Verification, or SMV Basic, for a Micromotion Coriolis meter with a 5700 transmitter, using both the local display and ProLink software. The learning objectives are the following. Know how to complete a verification. Know where to find the last verification result. Know how to schedule and automate future verifications. For the complete set of instructions, please refer to the appropriate Micromotion Transmitter Configuration and Use Manual. There are many ways to access Smart Meter Verification features in your transmitter. We will focus on using the local display of the 5700 transmitter to run and schedule Smart Meter Verification. To run a verification through the 5700 display, first select Menu, Operations, Smart Meter Verification, Run SMV. To confirm the state of the outputs, select one of the following. Continue measuring, fix at last measured value, or fix at fault. The most common selection is Continue Measuring to complete the verification without interrupting measurement or process control. After this selection is made, a 90-second meter verification takes place. If necessary, you can manually abort the verification at any time. The smart meter verification result is published after 90 seconds. If the verification fails, follow the prompts and run a second verification. If the second verification also fails, follow the prompt and contact Emerson Flow Support to resolve the potential meter performance issue. To view the last verification result from the main display, select Menu, Operations, Smart Meter Verification, Read SMV History. With SMV Basic, the previous verification runs date, time, and result are displayed here for your reference. To schedule verifications to periodically run, first select Menu, Operations, Smart Meter Verification, Schedule SMV. Hours to Next Run displays the amount of time in hours until the next scheduled verification will run. If the scheduler has not been configured, Hours to Next Run will display a value of zero. Set Hours to First Run determines how long until the first scheduled verification will run. Use the up and down buttons to change each digit's value and the left and right arrows to select a digit. Decimal points are located between values of 9 and 0. Hold the right button to confirm the hours value or hold the left button to cancel. Set hours between determines how often verifications will run after the first run. Use the arrow buttons to configure this value and, when the correct value is set, hold the right button to confirm the hours value or hold the left button to cancel. After connecting to the transmitter with ProLink, complete a verification by selecting Device Tools, Diagnostics, Meter Verification, Basic Meter Verification. The Configuration Details section highlights any changes to the transmitter's configuration or sensor zero since the last time a verification was run. Select Details for more information about any changes. Select the transmitter output state desired while SMV is running for 90 seconds. Since SMV can run without interrupting your process, most users select Continue Measuring to maintain measurement performance throughout the 90-second verification process. A live view of measurement data is available for reference throughout the verification process as well. To start the verification process, select Start and wait 90 seconds for the verification pass-fail result to be published. If the verification passes, select Finish to complete the verification process. If the verification fails, follow the prompts and run a second verification. If the second verification also fails, follow the prompt and contact Emerson Flow Support to resolve the potential meter performance issue. To schedule verifications to periodically run, 
First, select in ProLink Device Tools, Diagnostics, Meter Verification, Schedule Meter Verification. Hours remaining until next run displays the amount of time in hours until the next scheduled verification will run. If the scheduler has not been configured, hours remaining until next run will display a value of zero. Hours until next run determines how long until the first scheduled verification will run. Type in the number of hours desired for the first scheduled verification run. If you would like to view a verification report, export verification results, or view historical verification results, contact an Emerson sales representative or customer service for more information about the Smart Meter Verification Professional version, which will allow this functionality. This concludes the how-to video of Basic Smart Meter Verification, or SMV Basic, in an Emerson Coriolis meter. In this video, we reviewed how to run and schedule SMV BASIC with a 5700 transmitter using both the local display and ProLink software. In summary, you should now know the following. How to complete a verification, where to find the last verification result, how to schedule and automate future verifications. SMV BASIC is now available standard on all Emerson Coriolis meters with enhanced core processors. For the complete set of configuration instructions, please refer to the appropriate Micromotion Transmitter Configuration and Use Manual, located on the website www.emerson.com.